Hey everyone, it's Nick, and I'm going to review the anime series, Fruits Basket, 2019, the remake of the one from 2001, which is based on the manga series. Um, the plot summary is, after Toru is taken in by the Soma family, she learns that 12 members transform involuntarily into animals of the Chinese Zodiac and helps them deal with the emotional pain caused by the transformations. After a family tragedy turns her life upside down, 16-year-old high school schooler, 16-year-old high schooler Toru Honda takes matters in her own hands and moves out into a tent. Unfortunately for her, she pitches her new home on private land belonging to the mysterious Soma clan. It isn't long before the owners discover her secret. But, as Toro quickly finds out, when the family members offer to take her in, the Somas have a secret of her own. When hugged by the opposite sex, they turn the, the animals of the Chinese Zodiac. So anyway, that's the um, premise of the series. And this was quite a beautiful series. I quite loved it. I saw... Well, there was one movie I haven't seen yet, so I'll probably remove... I think I'll review the movie separately at some point. But anyway, I saw all the... Let's see, it's 25, 50... 63 episodes. There's two, three seasons. Season 1 is 25 episodes. Season 2 is 25 as well. And then Season 3 is 13. And it covers... Um, well, I can't really say much about the movie yet. But the anime series covers the... I can't remember how many volumes the manga had, but it covers pretty much all the material in the manga versus the original. So I definitely say, watch, if you're going to watch Fruits Basket, watch 2019. Just, you know, the original at this point is kind of just a novelty. It's only 26 episodes, doesn't really cover much of anything that happens. It also, you know, it didn't really go with the mangaka's vision for the series, which is more of a drama. You know, it has comedic elements, but the original was just more comedic. So, yeah, definitely go with this one. It's a lot better. It covers all the material. And it has some, you know, it covers also, this one also has all the Zodiac members that the original didn't have. So, you see all the members, you know, has a lot of great twists and turns. You know, a lot of, plays out kind of, not, well, it's not long like a soap opera. It kind of plays out like one. If in an anime form, you know, it has, you know, your all... It kind of plays out like a um, slice of life type of show, but, you know, over the course of the series, you learn about the characters and their internal struggles. You know, I'm sure, like me, you'll probably end up crying at several points, you know, if you... You know, if you're probably a person who... You know, sucker for a good um, drama. You probably cry several times, particularly with some characters like, like Toro and Kyo, uh, Rin, Momoji in particular. Particularly thought their stories were pretty, you know, heart wrenching. You know, it's quite touching. Whenever over the course of the series ends, you know, everyone gets their um, good ending. You know, things all work out by the end. But anyway. It has some pretty good comedy too, like Kyo and his hatred for um, chives. It's quite funny. And then, you know, mostly at the beginning of the series, they transform into animals when hugged. That kind of, over time, kind of um, does end up kind of fizzling out. But yeah, mostly toward the beginning, that was pretty amusing. And then Kyo and Yuki's feud together. It's pretty amusing. I mean. They work it out by the end, but them having a few bickering with each other was pretty funny. And you have some side characters like, um, what's his name? Jeez. Like just, like some of the characters, like Yuki, is involved with school council, and there's a character named, uh, let me see. <clears throat> oh, uh, Kakaru. He's pretty funny as well, kind of a ditz. You know, he unintentionally says things to upset character, particularly Yuki. It annoys Yuki a few times. And um, at one point in the series, you know, 
I go out to the girls at school liking Yuki, their prince. He said, You're not really so much a prince, you're more of a princess. <laughs> I upset him. He's twisting Kakaru's ears. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, princess. No, I, I'm, I'm sorry. So, yeah, you do have some of that. Um, anyway, yeah, I definitely think this was quite beautiful watch, quite poignant, you know, quite amusing as well. And anyway, uh, I can't say too much about it on these shows. Well, like most anime, it's hard for me to really comment too much on the plot. I mean, it's something you're going to have to see for yourself. But anyway, um, I think I give it about. 10 out of 10, I mean, it was pretty much perfect. You know, it's a great adaptation. The animation was great. You know, it covers material. You know, maybe cuts out a few tri you know, trite things, but, you know, covers all the important stuff. You know, it has a definitive ending. You know, it's pretty, generally pretty fast-paced. It never felt really slow to me. You know, it was a nice, brisk watch. And, um, yeah, anyway, if you're a fan of, um, like dramas and, you know, you know, great characters and, you know, good character development, you know, it's a good comedy here and there, slice of life, you probably like it. And, um, also has a romance element, so if you like that, you'll like it too. So anyway, uh, that's our review for the show. Definitely, again, I recommend it. I'd say right, watch this one, don't watch, well, unless you have time, don't bother with the original, because it's not a complete adaptation, you know, if you're going to watch it, then definitely watch the 2019 version first, don't watch the original first, because, you know, it's not the true vision, so anyway, I'm going to end my review here, so, hope you enjoyed the series, hope I convinced you to watch it, hope you enjoyed it quite as much as I did. Eventually, I'll review the movie, which is on Crunchyroll, which I don't have currently. Oh, yes, I almost forgot to mention. Um, a couple places you could watch this show besides getting it on DVD and on iTunes. I think it was on iTunes. But anyway, you could get it on uh, <clears throat> streaming on Hulu and Crunchyroll. And I think Funimation, too, but Funimation is pretty much... A thing of the past at this point, so I might as well just go with Crunchyroll to watch it. And um, definitely on Hulu and uh, Crunchyroll, I think also on iTunes as well, they have a Eng Japanese sub and English dub, so you could go both those ways as well, whatever you prefer. I prefer the dub, I watch it uh, dubbed. It's pretty good, pretty good dub for the show. So, Anyway, I'm going to end my review. Hope you enjoy it. I'll review the movie soon. I'm sure I'll see it. And then I will catch you guys again later.